Hi and welcome to Chandu.org. In this video, we are going to look at a quick and simple way to make a funnel chart in Excel. What is a funnel chart? Well, a funnel chart is a common visualization in the sales and customer relationship management areas of work. Usually, when you when you want to make a sale to a bunch of people, the way this works is these people will go through a funnel, not a real funnel, more like a metaphorical funnel, where people will go through several stages before being qualified as a buyer and making a purchase. For example, if you are um, if you are selling soaps or shampoo, what you would do is you would run an advertisement on television or newspaper, and you are pretty much reaching massive amounts of people like millions of them but not everybody is going to purchase right so the out of those millions of people eventually maybe 50,000 people will buy and you want to see that as a funnel how many people are entering the funnel and how many people are leaving the funnel entering funnel as in expressing interest in the product and leaving the funnel as in eventually buying it and why does funnel analysis help it's because once you know how uh, how your funnel shape is and what kind of conversion you are achieving you can then optimize your marketing efforts for example you can decide uh, whether to have more people uh, see the advertisement or whether to have more people uh, walk into the store which one is is a better strategy if you think seeing having more people see the ad is important then you would buy more airtime whether uh, through online advertising or, or physical advertising whereas if you think more people should walk into the store you might invite them for a sale or offer them a discount coupon or whatever uh, so that they can actually walk into the store and purchase so depending on what kind of marketing you do what kind of product you sell funnel charts can can help you understand where things are and how to optimize your marketing efforts now the visualization purists may not say that uh, you know they may say that funnel charts are a very very poor visualization technique and i do partially agree with them but that's why we are not going to make a real funnel like the one with 3d slices and all that that's those are in my opinion very very ugly uh, but we are going to make something that is more like a bar chart but still adheres to the funnel uh, funnel paradigm so that you can actually look at it and understand how things are going so enough talking let's jump into excel and take a look at the sample data i have used some sort of a fictional e-commerce website data so we have some 300,000 visitors and eventually uh, 1500 people buying from us uh, with 500 people are repeat customers so if I want to take some data like this and quickly turn this into a funnel chart obviously we can't insert a funnel chart there is no such thing so I'm going to show you uh, with conditional formatting this is one technique there are many ways to do it I'm going to provide some links in the workbook uh, for other tutorials on chandu.org about funnel charts uh, so that you can use this technique or any other technique so very quickly the funnel chart approach requires that we we make a copy of the original data so you, you now have one column and a second column is just copy don't copy paste use a referencing so that if the original data changes both numbers change uh, and then I'm going to select the new column I'm going to conditional formatting data bars and insert the data bar so we, we, we see that now this is if you can imagine this is the half of the funnel if I can get the same picture here as well I'll get the full funnel of course this is a little too um, too small because of the higher volume of numbers at the high level but we can change the data for example if instead of 300,000 we only have 90,000 people uh, you know we tend to see these <laughs> these little guys here okay now the next thing is we will select conditional formatting and add data bars here as well so we get two data bars now if I could mirror this particular data bar so that instead of starting from left if it can start from right and go towards the left our job is done so while keeping this selected we go to conditional formatting manage rules double click on the data bar and leave everything else as is click on the context for the bar direction 
and then say right to left I want this bar to be right to left so you can change the context uh, bar direction by right to left and when you click OK and apply you get a funnel chart now this is not the perfect funnel chart but it is a good start now let's click quickly clean it up we would like to get rid of those numbers there are many ways to do this for example you can select this go to conditional formatting manage rules and uh, simply say show bar only okay that's going to get rid of those numbers for you you need to repeat the step for this one as well um, and that will get that'll get rid of the numbers for us the next step would be select the whole thing press ctrl 1 go to border get rid of the middle border and uh, let's set up outline border and in, in that one so it looks like that there is no vertical line just horizontal lines uh, so that it will look like that now this is a quick funnel chart as I said so it's not perfect there is a small vertical line that shows up in the middle but uh, it's it's decent enough that you can live with it okay if you are looking for something that is really authentic and it doesn't have this this uh, this vertical line kind of thing you can tweak some of the settings or you can use alternative approaches for example uh, one of my favorite approaches uh, we could uh, instead of flipping the bar uh, right to left we can use negative numbers because usually when you have a negative number what happens is it, it actually shows up on the negative side and that creates the funnel effect alternatively you can select this range and insert a regular uh, bar chart and and then add one more bar chart with negative series and then uh, flip it and, and that looks like a funnel chart you can also do a little bit of arithmetic and move these bars so that they can look like floating in, in the middle everything is center aligned and that looks like a funnel chart as well so there are many techniques like that I'm going to provide some links to those techniques in the workbook please visit chendu.org and uh, and grab a copy of this file alternatively if you're watching this video on YouTube just go to the description there will be a link where you can grab this workbook and that will give you a copy of this particular set of setup with conditional formatting and and links to other conditional uh, other funnel chart uh, tutorials in case you're wondering why there is a small squeaking noise I, can, I don't know whether you can hear it or not uh, there are some squirrels in 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 the backyard and probably they found some food and they're making noises <laughs> so excuse the squirrels but enjoy the excel thank you so much and you have an awesome day bye bye